everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. So we're with the hooligans today. So we have a sneaky suspicion that we have a Reaper Mole in our midst. We're not 100% sure, but we're, we're pretty darn sure. It seems like wherever we go, the Reapers manage to find us. So what we've done is we actually reached out to a bunch of units around that seem to still be surviving in the valley. There's been a call out to rendezvous at a certain location. So we're going to head over to that location. And if the Reapers do manage to find us, we'll hopefully have allies there that can help us. All right, so here we are at the base. Now, there's another unit that seems to be approaching the base. It looks like um, they're on our side, but then we've got Reaper units up here that are, are chasing them down, trying to kill them. So we're going to move forward and hopefully clear these guys out. Um, there's no turrets or anything online in the base, but one of these pilots had, had radioed and said that uh, they have the ability to get the turrets online. So we're hoping that um, they can do that relatively quickly. If we can get a defensible position here, um, I think we'll probably be okay. But they've got some medium mechs, so it could be a nasty problem here. Okay, so just so you know, this is a two skull base defense mission in the Badlands. And we've brought in... Um, oh yeah, do I want to get you on early here? What do we have up here? Wolverine. I think I want to wait and see what else the enemy brings to the table first before we sacrifice the uh, the galleon. We got is this guy's a one shot wonder, so we got to make sure uh, we're using it against the right person. So let's move him over here. Yeah, so this is a two skull base defense mission. Um, so we'll probably be facing a bunch of medium mechs. I don't know how many. All right, we got the fire starter in play yeah. today. LBX-20 flamers and medium lasers. So we want to use this thing in a backstab position if we can. Um, but I also, I'm convinced that we need to get these guys down fast on this side. We've got three turns before reinforcements arrive and if these guys aren't at least half gone by then, we're going to be in serious trouble. So maybe we do commit the galley and the hazard is what? 760. So that's... What would the weight be of that? Seven? I don't know. What, I don't know. It's a half decent amount of armor. 649 in the swordsman. 760. Could be a 55 tonner. Valkyrie. Alright, well... Let's start this off. The swordsman generally runs pretty cool, but... We gotta do something here. Leave the LBX off for the first little bit. We're gonna try and run really cool. Okay. So we I'm have full it. mobility. Alright, a little bit of fire damage. Yep. Uh, since that guy over there didn't do anything, let's just move up and go on, on the uh, swordsman again. I'm gonna try and focus fire, I think, on the swordsman at first. Uh, we got lots of ammo, so I'm not worried about that. MRMs are 21. LRMs 26. All right. What's our heat doing? Not too bad. We'll leave one of these low chance medium lasers off and fire the rest. Aye, aye. All right, a couple missiles hit. No biggie. Waiting for orders. That's tricky. Let's get in the trees over here. On my way. I think it's probably going to be turn three when these mechs get and activate the turrets. Wow. Got the ammo, might as well use it. Roger. Ooh, large laser hit, nice. And a bunch of missiles. Yeah, baby. Good to go. Try and do the same thing here. Let's get our swordsman. I don't want to go too, too far out this way because if we have enemies coming from behind us, I'm going to have to wheel and go back. All right, just firing. Ooh, AC hit. Yeah, man. This could end up being a good battle. Who do we got up? Architect. Let's get those flak twos up. Um, thought I saw. Oh, that's. Wait, what? Oh. I thought I saw a blue line here, and it's not. It's the escort's own line. All right. 
All right, fair enough. Move order received. And we're gonna shoot on whoever is. So we got what four. 15 turns of fire, so we got lots of fire. We can fire every turn. All right, uh, that's the swordsman. 25 on the Valkyrie. It's got a weak arm. 22 on the hazard. It didn't fire this turn, so I don't know. Let's go with the best chance to hit here. Roger that. Ooh, three hits, and two of them on the mech we wanted, one on the swordsman. That's awesome. All right, let's see what they do. Let's see what they do on turn two. This is going to be a tough battle. Two skulls. Our lance is only rated at one skull. They may very well destroy this base. So... Don't know what to do about that. Oh, you're, are you in? Oh, yes. One turn earlier than I thought. That's probably going to help out a lot. What do we got here? Please don't be a minus streak. Streak LRM turret. For the pair of LRM 15 clans. Ooh. And then we've got... Heavy laser clan. Okay. These are clan turrets, man. I didn't, I didn't realize who I was... Why are they... Clan weapons, two L streak LRM 15s on this one, and another two. Oh my god, we got three streak turrets. That's our guy. That's their. See, if these guys decide to stall, and ah, if they decide to stall and stay up on the hill for the reinforcements to arrive, we're screwed. I think we need to move Trout back. Receiving you. Let's keep trying to apply pressure here. Let's move this way. I'm I gotta ready. try and stay together. Try and stay together. All right. Let's apply some more pressure to this guy. He goes on 15. We got two more to go. Okay. Did we hit somebody else back here? We did. That's the Valkyrie. Oh man, we got these guys lined up. Commander. Now I wonder if we go after that Valkyrie here. If we can get a quick pull down on it, maybe. 28%. 22%. But we can get... 1537. Huh. Yeah, let's take the best chance we can hit. This is the guy that's going after our building, so. Alright, whatever. What do you need? I need my morning coffee is what I need. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want to move over here because I'm afraid of this guy. This might be far enough. Yeah, let's do that. Moving to position. I can't go up the hill. There's no way I can go up the hill. Let's go with the better chances to hit, and we'll fire. Attacking from position. All right, one medium. Not bad. Rifleman, you actually gonna fight or what are you doing? You could have targeted the swordsman, I think. I hope they actually do some fighting because we could certainly use the. Uh okay, that was a miss. We could certainly use the help here. All right, I'm gonna fire on that guy again. Damage minimal. Yeah, he penned though. That was the swordsman. Yep. Same chance on this guy. Thirty-eight with him streaks. We could try and go for a kill here. I mean, if we get lucky. Firing. 
Oh yeah, we got lucky. That one's gone. Wow, that was re I, honestly, I I was not expecting that. I'm gonna put you here. We may have to sacrifice you to go after the other guys Commander. when they show up. Um, oh, I see. This swordsman's got like a limited. Uh, View range here. Interesting. He's just far enough back. Shoot, I can't, uh... There we go. I'm trying to get out from behind my mechs. Because we don't have the best chances to hit, I want to make sure we minimize the chance to hit our own guys. Let's go after this guy. Firing. Nothing. Nothing. No that's right. Alright, it's our turret. Oop, streaks landed. Nice. The other streaks landed. That Wolverine's got an ultralight gyro, it looks like. Either that or it's just a crappy pilot. Ready for orders. You need to hang out there. What do you need? We have to just pretend like that guy doesn't exist, I think. For now. I need you to open up on this guy. We're gonna go with everything on him. Copy that. Shit. That was terrible. I gotta pull the fire starter back, though. Ooh, this guy's coming up. Going after the Vulcan. All right. Yeah. Makes me wonder now if I should uh, step Copy up this that. way. Wondering if I should commit the fire starter to try and kill that guy. Uh, we'll see how what kind of range it's got. Man, the chances to hit. Look at this. All right, firing. Okay, got a bit of uh, acid on him. Ooh, nice shooting, buddy. It's nice having the, uh, the, the Vulcan in the, uh, fire starter. Or the, uh, rifleman, I mean. On our side. Well, for two reasons. One. Shit. That wasn't a main building, was it? No. Uh, yeah. For two reasons. One, because... They're mechs with lots of armor. Pretty damn good chance with cluster on this guy. I wonder if we try and commit the fire starter to kill this side. I wonder how this guy's back armor looks. 35. Swordsman, 30 and 40. Wolverine, 30 and 40. This guy's already damaged on his side. Okay, we're going to bring the LBX down to the bottom to fire last because I think and correct me if I'm wrong, I think the cluster ammo will crit more if it's already if the mech's already open. So we're going to move up here. Roger. I'm going to vigilance and try and get more initiative next turn. We're going to shoot this guy with everything but the LBX because I don't want to do anything but back shots with that thing. Acknowledge. Okay, that's nice. Uh, Commander? All right, Trike, let's get on this swordsman again. Um, let's not even move. 30%, huh? Way better on this guy. Pretty good on the Wolverine, too. You know what? We're going to shoot the Wolverine simply because the Swordsman's right between us. And if we miss the Wolverine, we may hit the Swordsman. Oh my god, I can't believe we just did that. How is this happening? I was not expecting to have like any of this lance down. 
I think that, um, this guy's got a, I think this is a, a Mydrin, uh, AC5. That might be worth picking up. Good to go. Good to go. This guy's giving you a side. Good chances to hit. Let's take it. On it. All right, one hit. All right. Okay, here comes a streak at least. Hopefully one streak. Nope. Stood out in the open. Here comes another one. Oh, good night. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Oh shit. Okay, not so bad. Hang on a minute. What do we got here? A griffin. Yellow jacket. Yellow jacket. And a maxim. Now the other question is. There should be another lance somewhere. But where? Yep. I think we commit you still to the death of this Wolverine. Let's get in like this though. Going full he's in the trees, so he's gonna take uh, less damage, but Oh so this is the swordsman. Yeah. Let's see if we can get him. Here it comes. Ooh, look at the heat on that, eh? Take this. Ooh, good night. Okay, our good luck in this first bit is either going to come back to bite us in the ass at the end, or... <laughs> I, I don't know what. Maybe in the next mission it'll come back. Oh, we got the guys over here. <gasps> Hunchy. Hunchy. Is that a, did that say 2C? 1G, okay. <laughs> Alright. We got two Hunchbacks to fight down here, plus an Enforcer and a Vulcan. Alright. We're good. Well, you guys are uh, not having a good day. Good thing you're on the front line and not me. 1G, 1G. So these guys are just the old OG versions. The uh, me heavy and, is it heavy and medium rifles? I think it is. Vulcan with two ballistic and one energy enforcer with the ballistic. That's probably the AC-10 enforcer. All right. Um, Okay, buddy. Um, I'm just gonna reserve you. Copy that. Hold you're not in the. You. You're not in a very good position at all to engage these guys. That's for sure. Moving over here. I think I want to try and take down these copters first. Ooh, that's terrible, eh? Oh, he's already taken a, a rotor hit, though. Hmm. They've got some protection here, like spawn protection, so... Doesn't really matter who I go against. This is a little better, though. Right? It is with the SRM. Uh, we gotta kill them all, so let's just fire this guy anyway. They got a couple hits on him. Yeah, those guys have got rifles. They look like rotaries, though. Could you imagine having a, like a pair of Rack 2s or something in the shoulder? Yeah, you know who the threat is. I got Sam ammo, buddy. I got Sammo. Get it? Sam ammo? Sammo? Ha ha ha. Ha ha. I'm funny. Um, what do we got down here? 12%. 44 on this guy, though. Well, this could be a kill, so let's go after this guy instead. I'm gonna take 
one medium laser off. I was going to say I was going to take the heat, but I think I'll hold off on that for now. Confirmed. DPC hit. Nice. This guy's got some good armor. I'm interested to see what we can get salvage wives out of this because we have uh, five choices. So, I mean, if there's enough hunchback parts, we could take a full hunchback. Waiting for orders. Uh, you just hang on, buddy. You're susceptible to dying very fast, so let's not get you to blow your wad before uh, you get a chance to uh, get in and do it. Ooh! That's not very nice. That's an interesting plasma cannon uh, attack there. I want to move to where I can see both sides here, so if we have some people engaging the buildings, I can target them. 56, 56. Significantly less, so let's go after this copter. Damn it. I shouldn't complain. We did a really good job of pulling that initial lance down. I'm actually completely shocked. I thought for sure there'd be at least two of them left. At least two left. You know? They're out of range with their rifles, so we're okay there. I do want to get this carrier out of the way. We're starting to lose a lot of armor here. If the carrier goes down, but when the when the uh, copters are gone, I'm okay with that. Let's get up here. Acknowledged. But the fact that these are kind of fixed fixed position forward, it's a bit of an issue. 56 on you, and 50 on you. But let's go. Well, if we get a rotor hit on this guy, he's gone. How's this guy doing though? We gotta do a little more on this guy. Do we go for the rotor hit though? Like one rotor hit and he's dead. Let's go, let's take the chance and go after the rotor hit here. here it comes. No. Three hits though, it's nice. Orders. Now what do we do? I'm trying to get to you to a position where I can actually sprint a little better. Let's just go here. Got it. Brace it up. Little closer. Those guys down the valley aren't moving in, so hopefully our turrets can land here too. I'm shocked at the uh the just this Okay, I'm gonna call it Magistry of Canopus from now on. That's what I've always called it. Because I can't say Madrist Madrist Fuck it. Magistry of Cannabis. That's what it is. Goodbye, copter. I didn't think the Canopians would have uh, had any clan turrets, but it almost seems like... I don't know. Because it did have... Um, it did have... Um, was it... wasn't gla I can't remember what clan symbol on it when we first started, so... I should have read the uh, mission. All I saw was all I saw was two skull base defense, and I'm like, "Yep, that's our mission for today." I wasn't really reading. Like I knew we were fighting the locals, and I knew it was it was uh, Magistry of Can Magistry of Canopus, but you know, I didn't know what do you need thoroughly what it would be. All right, let's get you. I want to tackle that Griffin? Probably, I guess. He's already warm. Leaving the LBX off this turn. Because damn the heat. Um, let's leave the mediums off. Just hit him with the flamers. Alright, we got one on him. 
As long as he stays toasty in this desert, hopefully he can shut down and we'll capitalize. Ooh. We found some competent allies. Nice. Who's moving? Oh, the copter. No. Who's that? Vulcan? Okay. Yep. I could just stay in the heat. 51 down here. We turn the medium lasers off. That'll help. 51. Yeah, I think it's still a copter. I think we're just going to stand here. We're going to try and take this copter down. That's pretty hot, but I think we're okay here. Roger. Nice. Got past the armor. Vehicle trash. <laughs> still one of the best quotes. Nice. Got past the armor. I think the best quote in this game is, uh, what's his name? I can't remember. He goes, oh, for what? Come on, this game is rigged. <laughs> I, I, I wish I could remember the name of the pilot from the original. It's just one of the voice sets, obviously, but... Ooh, the carrier's taking a crap ton of damage. Well, you just fucked yourself, buddy. The carrier is going to respond to that. Yep. Actually, we're all going to respond to that. Actually, maybe not. Start making our way back this way. He's shut down. I'm not worried about him. So let's go against the other guys. Because we got our fire starter up there to take care of it. Let's see if we can clear up this side. I'm going to go with the rockets. We're going to dump this full shot on this guy. It's got some half-decent armor, but if we can strip a lot of it off, we can finish him up pretty quickly here. Really? Most of our big weapons missed. Short-range missiles are out. Yeah, that's alright. Since nobody's targeting us. Okay, let's get over here. On my way. Marginally better chance to hit from the side, but we'll take it. Alright. Good enough. Confirmed. Ooh, nice. All but one missile. Oh, he's turned the other way now. Hang in there, hang in there, hang in there. We're gonna back up. I'm showing minor damage. Actually, we're gonna push forward and go after that uh Griffith. Maybe not. Maybe it'll be dead, never mind. Look at the armor on this thing, it's like getting stripped on all sides. It's actually not that bad still. 47, 70, 68, 37, okay. We'll get out of the uh, line of sight of the guys on the right, on uh, this side, the right. Okay, switch back to standard. Do I want to try for a headshot in this guy? Or, 37 on this guy. It might hit the front. He's protecting his side pretty well. You know what? Let's go against the mech. We're going to try for a headshot. If we hit, it'll splash elsewhere anyway, but... Go for the headshot. Wow, really? You got a st completely stationary target. Couldn't follow up with that, eh? Ooh, he took that one right in the groin. Oof. Yes, Commander. Buddy, I need you to try and knock that guy down. You think you can do that? I think going after the mechs on the right is a bad idea with this guy. And the reason why I say that is because uh, he's got he's going to have to go at least two turns down the valley, and at which point you know he's open to being killed. So we're going to drop a rocket ten on him. Let's go for a torso shot. 
I should knock him down. Oh, that kills him. Good enough. Double XL gyro. I'm out of short range missile. What the hell did that guy have on him? Nice kill. Maybe we could get you on that Maxim. Yeah, maybe we can dump the rest of the missiles into that Maxim. I wish they were tandems, that'd be nice, but... Whatever. It almost doesn't matter. It's almost like, with the with heavy amounts of rockets, you almost... Well, I don't want to say you almost don't want to have tandem, but if you're planning on using it as a backstrike, the armor on the back is so minimal anyway, you'll strip it really early. And if you're using tandem, it's only doing... It'll only do half damage to the internals. So, once you blow through, it doesn't do full damage, I don't think, to the internals. So it does less damage once you've blown through the armor. Alright, we know who we need to engage. Let's shut these guys up down this valley, Leah. Let's shut these guys up. We got... It's round six, so it's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got this round plus four more. Let's gauge let's engage this enforcer because he's got the uh, AC ten. And he's got an open torso. Take this. Ooh, I thought I was gonna hit the torso. Never mind. <laughs> Mech destroyed. I was gonna say I was gonna I thought the PPC was gonna get get that torso. But I don't need it, I just need the streaks. We'll just put a streak on the torso, it's good enough. Alright, Tricky. Um We're gonna leave that for the fire starter up there. Ah, shit! I can't get these mechs are so damn slow. Roger that. This honestly, just so you guys know, we're doing well in this mission. But my reasoning for taking the two and a half skull was to add a bit of a challenge to it. Yes, but I thought we were gonna lose this match. And that's kind of what I had planned in the storyline, is that this was going to end up being a loss. But, um, I'm not going to fight to make that happen, for just for story, but, you know, I'll have to figure out where the story's going to go after this. I think I got an idea now, but still, we were supposed to lose this one. Alright, yeah, that's good. Let's fire. Nice. Got past the armor. How did that taste? Not too enjoyable, I don't think. I think it tasted probably like a Good lot, a lot like gunpowder and smoke. Probably. That's just my guess. But uh, you know what? Firestarter OG is one thing, but let, let me just show you how Galleon gets the job done. LBX twenty. Puh. Vehicle trashed. That's how you get the job done. Out of SRMs. That's all right. You can retreat now. Go back to base. Smoke a couple of stogies. Waiting for orders. Your job here is done. Move order received. Let's get on this uh, Vulcan here. Next sacrificial lamb. On it. That's a miss. Yeah, so with these guys with us, we got, you know, some good firepower, and they, they and they draw the enemy fire. I was saying this earlier, and I meant to say, if they die, I think their their carcass is going to salvages, too. So, for it's almost like you want to, if you want the uh, rifleman parts, just let the rifleman die. But, I don't think he can get himself killed in this one. They'd have to get lucky to kill him, I think. Now, of course, now that I said that... Ooh, she's like Take that. pretty damn accurate in the swordsman. I'm saying, I'm telling you. Ooh, it helps that we got good turrets too. The streak turrets aren't going to help us down here. The one turret will, but the rest of them won't, simply because like they can't shoot past any of this stuff. You have to have a direct line of sight with a streak, so. Don't go up high. I guess you have to, but... Yep. I 
think I want to hardline engage these riflemen. Or the, not riflemen, the hunchbacks. You're gonna die, you're pretty stripped. So what are we looking at for heat here? Actually, let's let it drop again and then we'll fire up all of the lasers next time. Roger. Okay, getting that side torso. Yeah, you might as well shut down. There's no point. I mean, there's no point in uh, you know staying active for the rest of the battle. Standing by. There you go, buddy. Affirmative. Just put you down here for now. Fire starter is woefully out of position, but it should be able to engage again. Nice. See, there's there's a smart person. Drop some heat. Get your weapon unjammed. Ooh. We gotta get that carrier out of there. What do you need? Full speed. Sounds good, uh-huh. Acknowledged. Mech is on fire! It's just because of the pilot. The pilot's hot stuff. What do you need? Uh we need you to get in here and engage, please. Okay, we got a solid red on this guy over here. This is the guy we're going to start targeting, firing. Locked on. Nice. Yeah, Commander. Trike, let's push it down the valley. Get a side yeah, shot on him. I, I can't remember who it was that mentioned to me that the hunchbacks have the ammo in the left torso. So killing the right torso takes the guns, but killing them here takes the ammo and probably gives you better salvage. Because you, you know, obviously you keep the gun, right? Not that I want the rifles or anything, but... That's how you would normally do it, I think. Ooh, that Vulcan. Buddy, Ready for I'm really gonna try hard to keep him alive, but... I don't think it's possible. I think he's gonna go down. We got several turns left here, so... Everybody fights, nobody quits. Let's get some guns on. Nothing. Damn. Reporting negative damage. Turret coming in. Yeah, we got good turrets. But the battle, I mean, we probably still would have won. I was going to say, if, if we didn't have any turrets, we probably still would have won. Ooh. That Vulcan, man. Don't shut down. Don't shut down. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah, you're out of range with all your weapons. All right, full speed. Like I almost want like an LRM five on this too. You know, if we could get one on there, just so we have something to to plink people at long range with. Go here. Coordinates received. That's terrible. If we get lucky, we could kill it, but marginally better on the hunchback, and I want more hunchback parts, I think, than the Vulcan parts. So we'll go after this guy. All right, a little bit of acid on there. What do you need? A little bit of acid house on that guy. Full armor. Uh, 23, 51 with the uh, MRMs. We're in good range now, so here it comes. Nice. Ready for orders. Can't get a solid line, huh? Just move into here. See if we can take that Vulcan down. I pr I'd prefer us getting the kill than the base, but. Uh, no, we're still on this guy. Okay. Whew, this could have been a disaster. Like if we hadn't that it was the the key to winning this was taking that first lance down so quickly. If we hadn't have knocked them off in the first three turns, um, it would have been a completely different match, I think. 
Aye, aye. Let's not sacrifice you. I want everyone to come home alive with this one. Well, that's about all. That's about all the chance you're going to get to shoot at us. Solid red. Copy that. Take that number. We're not letting you shoot this turn. Locking in all weapon systems. Wow, one out of four, eh? Okay. Wait, is that our turret going? Oh, okay. Never mind. I thought it was the start of a new turn. Durr. Don't shut down, Vulcan. Don't. I'm trying to keep you alive. Why are you trying to sacrifice yourself continuously? Round nine. We got two turns left, and we got enough LBX ammo for those two turns. Wish out, buddy. Attacking from the but you never expected an LBX 20 on a fire starter, did you? Don't hit me. Why would you fire the lasers and heat yourself up rather than the ACs? Orders. ACs do like marginally more damage. Close the gap a little bit, hopefully get a better chance to hit here. Kind of at optimal range right now. Nice. Got past his armor. On the move. Full speed. Nope. We keep on this guy. Guy's tick. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say this guy's taking it like a champ. He was, but now he's not. This Vulcan is like, well, and that a bitch. Yeah, that's what I would have done too, buddy. You might as well try and take one of them down with you. Yep. And since you didn't get any, do I even need to move? Nope. Since you didn't get any. Alright, we're firing it all. Firing. There you go. Tango down. Guy's taking a dirt nap. Mission successful. Well, like I said, this battle was supposed to be a loss. For the for the game, it was supposed to be the Reapers overrunning this position and forcing the uh the hooligans out then the hooligans run into the urban mechs and we run those two units close to each other and then the night gods and the uh, uh, dragons rejects run close together but I'll have to think about how we're going to run this now because we've actually picked up another unit with us at this base so I gotta think of some story stuff for, net for this now but anyway that was actually pretty good so we got we can we need five parts of a mech to to put a mech together. So since we've got a stable base now, we can actually go ahead and do that. We got hunchback parts. Should have looked in the storage to see if we had anything liar. I don't know what we have. Bolt on tandem rocket. That's kind of pretty good, but we're not going to do that. We can buy those in the store. The plasma cannon. That was like an AOE heat, right? Does area effect damage within 90 meters of impact. Heat 50. That th Who had the rack 2 and the rack 5? Was that on one of the yellow jackets? Did I just not see that? Battle computer tactics, critical. Oh my god, they got some good stuff here. Claws. Endo steel, which we don't think we... I think we got endo on everybody now. I don't think we... Yeah, we don't need any. XL engines. Fire control system advanced. Fire control system blood sport. Who is the melee mech? I don't know who the melee mech was. Oh, maybe it was that uh, hazard. The hazard could have been the melee mech. Artemis we don't need. 
Oh, man. Gonna throw that there for now. So we don't have enough parts to put a whole mech together, and I don't... Oh, double heat sinks, jump pack booster three, what? Of course, 30% tons carry capacity. Three jump capacity. Jump movement point six. Heat generated by this jump jet is per hex jumped. So I don't understand what it means, three jump... Oh, maybe it takes up three jump jet capacities. That would make sense. Because it would be zero weight, but it would use up three slots of jump jets. That makes sense. Uh, I'm going to drop that there for now. So I don't know if we go... Oh, pirate fire control system down here. Prototype double heat sinks. Spall liner. 10 ton sword. The hazard must have had that. MRM tandem. Rack 5 ammo. I gotta really decide what I want here. We're okay for our financial report, so the XL engine we don't need. That was probably on the Griffin. I know we want to do a melee mech in this playthrough, but at the moment, we've got better stuff on the ground. Battle computer recoil. Crits, ballistic act. Okay, we could take... We could take a lot of things. Rotary 5 is only 25 damage for 10 tons. Huh, plasma cannon. Do we need ammo for this? Yeah, it uses plasma ammo. So it's 10 tons. It's a nice weapon. There is plasma ammo. How many shots? 10 shots. It is a nice weapon, but the problem with it right now is the heat. We can't sink it. So maybe we take three mech parts so this griffin is pirate refit both of jury rate and experimental technologies hazards only got one part designed to hunt infantry and battle armor four flamers so maybe it wasn't this guy that was the melee mech then who would it have been Okay, swordsman parts. Yeah, I don't think so. Yellow jacket parts. So this guy had... It doesn't say what he had. Wait. Yeah. 140. 145 on the front. Oh, one plasma can. Durr. And this guy had the rotary AC5. Somebody had a rack too, though. Yeah, that might... I don't know. I think we take three Griffin parts. I think we go this route. And then we just see what we get. Flame breath, though. Yeah, I don't know, man. The battle computer's really nice. Like we, our chances to hit are so borked right now. Like if we go with the battle computer, minus recoil plus ballistic, we could put it on either the sword. But then we gotta take stuff off it. Where's the uh, advanced fire control control system? Sorry, it's really dry up here tonight, to the guys in the attic. Okay, bonus offensive push accuracy minus twenty percent multiplier to jam chance. So that's good. Like that, you'd almost want to take that. 
the ballistic, the recoil, and then take the the rack and the ammo, and just take like just go with just the rack. The pirate fire control system, on the other hand, increases heat and recoil, but gives you more accuracy. Uh, I don't know. We're not going to get a full mech out of this. So what are we getting? We're getting a, some space on one of our mechs and some jumping capability on one of the mechs, which will probably, this will probably, I might put this on the uh, Thunderbolt for some mobility. Because right now I think everybody's jump cable capable except for the uh, Thunderbolt. Ah, I just stop waffling and do it. Yeah, you know what? The other thing too, taking that advanced targeting computer kind of was moving away from this playthrough. I don't want to go all brand new stuff, you know. Let's just go with this. We'll see what we'll see how we get get on with the rest of the stuff here, but we'll go this route. All right, so we got an enforcer part, the hazard part, one hunchback, maximum swordsman part. All right, not bad. Another 50 machine guns can go. Keeping the basic cockpits because we have old mechs. The 40 core can go. That can go. That's not bad. Fire control system standard. We got two, so that can go. Some jump jets. Primitive cockpits. Man, we got ripped off. Oh, what a lousy roll. Alright, whatever. Alright, well, I'm going to have a quick look in storage here. Uh, barracks. Nope. Mech bay. Derp, derp, derp. Mech bay. Storage. So, let's see here. One hunchback old part, three griffin... So we do have two hunchback parts now. The Maxim had what on it? That's actually not bad. Alright, well, gonna hold on to all the parts, I think. I don't think I want to get rid of right now. Alright, well, that's gonna be it for this episode, I think. I'm gonna have to figure out what to do now. Between these guys and the hunchbacks. Or the, um, Urban Max, that is. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Till next time, we'll see you later.